Baltimore County is now partnering with local watermen to help improve the blue crab harvest and the health of the Chesapeake Bay. In today's Coffee with, Stetson Miller tells us about the effort to remove thousands of derelict crab pots just sitting on the bottom of the bay. Baltimore area watermen are now on a mission to remove these derelict crab pots, lost fishing gear and trash that are harming the health of the Chesapeake Bay and their livelihoods. Moving the gear under this program supports Baltimore County with the positive and localized impact um, to this area by removing unmanaged gear that would otherwise compete with active fishing gear. They've been hired by the nonprofit group Oyster Recovery Partnership for a project that they're working on over the next two weeks with the Baltimore County Department of Environmental Protection and Sustainability. The goal is to remove what are called ghost crab pots from the bottom of the bay. We're trying to pull out between 50 and 70 percent of the 3,000 or so pots we've identified over 2,000 uh, acres out there in the bay. They were identified at the beginning of the year using side scan sonar technology that can map out what's at the bottom of the bay. And they found the ghost traps that were lost during storms were cut loose by boat propellers. You know, nobody wants to lose gear. It, it ends up happening. An estimated 3.3 million crabs are killed every year by ghost traps. This project will hopefully reduce some of those numbers. The recovered pots will be recycled or thrown away by Baltimore County, making the lives of watermen and wildlife a little bit better. Keep less stuff for get the lines caught on. It'll help clean up the bay. And the 13 crews that are working on this project will document everything that they find in these traps and then make a report on it all this summer. In Sparrows Point, Stetson Miller for WJZ.